Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Thank you for being here with me and tuning in. Um, I wanted to check in today quickly to talk about uh, checking in with yourself and taking care of yourself. So we are all constantly surrounded by all these different things that are telling us what we should do, shouldn't do, should say, shouldn't say. Um, and it can be really overwhelming and it's really easy to kind of start listening to everybody else to be told what should you do, what should you think. But the, the, the fact is that the answers are in here. The answers are inside of us. And tapping into that and really listening to yourself is so key and so important and so difficult to do when you're not used to it. But it all starts one little bit at a time. Um, for me, this is showing up in a couple of different ways right now. Um, first off, it's showing up for me um, in so both essentially my mental health and my physical health. So mentally, I've had a friend here for this last week, which has been fantastic. It's been so great to visit her. But it's meant that I've been out and about a lot more than usual. I've been surrounded by a lot of people. I haven't had as much alone time. I haven't been really um, doing my daily yoga and my meditation as I normally do. And because I'm an introvert, I really need that alone time. That alone time is, that's how I recharge and that's how I regenerate. And that's how I then kind of show up in my life otherwise and feel great. So, um, for example, yesterday we were in the city and by the time we got home in the afternoon, I was done. I was exhausted. I was literally on the brink of tears because I just couldn't handle anybody else's energy. And I just told everybody like, gotta go. I need to lie down. I'm closing the door. I don't, I, I, you know, I, I need some time. So I went and I laid down and I had this beautiful, my Brene Brown book, with this beautiful book with me, which I started two days ago and I'm halfway through already. It's a great book. Um, and I just literally did nothing. And I read a few pages and I stared at the ceiling and it was so important. Um, and that sort of has continued on into, into today. My friend's away for a couple of days. And so today I'm catching up on work, but I'm also really checking in with myself, seeing what I need. I am covered in my Clary Calm right now, which is essentially like a relaxing um, blend of essential oils. I love this stuff. I would bathe in it if I could. So good. Um, I have my kombucha that I'm sipping on. Um, and then I have my crystal. So I have lots of different crystals and they're all four different things. I am in no way um, a resource to learn about crystals. It's something that I'm still kind of at the beginning stages of, but I have different crystals. I have my rose quartz and an amethyst and a clear quartz. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I have these different crystals and I'm just using them in small little tiny ways to really, really help support me. And just, I mean, I could easily yesterday have said, no, I'm fine, let's keep going, let's go out. And then I would have crashed. I would have hit a wall and crashed. Um, and at the same, in the same token, physically, so my physical health, um, my digestion hasn't been great for a while. I had some health problems a couple of years ago. And every once in a while, I kind of get lazy in how I'm eating and I push the boundaries a bit too far um, and my, my like I've just had the worst bloating and stomach cramps and pains and I was thinking this morning when was the last time I felt really great that my stomach and my digestion was like on track felt amazing and it was a couple of months back I was doing a cleanse very gentle cleanse there was no supplements it was really just cutting out a lot of common irritants and I thought well why don't I just why don't I do that again? Why don't I sort of go back, start from ground zero, get a baseline. Yes, my friend's visiting and we're gonna wanna have wine. Well, I'll live without a couple of glasses of wine. Um, you know, yes, I really like certain things like um, I'm cutting out bananas, for example, because I think that they kind of, I suspect they might be giving me some problems. I love them, I eat them literally every day, but that's where they might be giving me problems because I'm eating them every day. So. Really, what I want to talk about today is just, is this, is tapping into yourself and tuning in and listening. And your body and your mind, they tell you what they need, but it's it's our jobs to listen. We have to show up and we have to listen and we have to take care of them. There is nobody else in this world who's going to take care of you like you. There's nobody else who knows what you need better than you. And as much as we are always told, almost everywhere we look, you need this you want this, you should want this, you should do this. Nobody knows you better than you. So I really just wanna encourage you to tap into you and ask if you're being honest with yourself. Are you really listening to what your body's telling you? Are you listening to what your mind is telling you? 
Are you listening to your energy? Are you doing what you need to do to feel great, to recharge, and to really support your health? And uh, if so, awesome. If not, maybe it's time to really have a look at that. Maybe it's time to see what you need. Really ask the question. And it's not always an easy question. Sometimes it takes a long time to really learn what the answer is, but the only way to do it is to start. And you have to start asking the question. So I'm gonna leave it there today. Thank you for watching. Uh, ask yourself the question, are you taking care of yourself the way you need to? Only you know the answer. Have a great week, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.